Hey, what's going on Beowulf Nation? It's on Beowulf back at it with another video. Behind me, Beowulf Edition GP1800R Yamaha SVHO. Jet Ski, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Become part of the Beowulf Nation. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification. Get notified as soon as the video is uploaded. Today's video, I'm changing the oil. Now, I've owned this thing since mid part of 2019 to 2019 Yamaha GT 1800R, but it is the Bay Wolf Edition one of a kind. Now, I've changed the oil when I did the break in period. Off the top of my head, it was after five, some under like five to ten hours. I really had to go back to the video, but that's when I did it. Change the spark plugs. I changed the fluid, but I did not change out the oil filter. Then I did another maintenance when I hit. 25 hours which um, I changed out the oil filter with an, a Yamaha one you can find all this stuff too on my Amazon store amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf also too check out the Beowulf I am Beowulf merch at I am Beowulf.com so in the past when I did my second oil change I ran the Motorola four stroke motor oil now, if you're not familiar with motor oil, best step of the game, if you're racing and you are having a motorcycle, a race car, a street car, motor oil is the best brake fluid in the game. There's no questions asked. Now, it's really nice to see the design of the oil that they have. Again, this is on my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I'm Beowulf. Some of this stuff in the back, I don't want to bore you reading a bunch of stuff. But you can check it out and uh, you can buy that and just ship right to your house. Best stuff, it's on the Amazon store. And uh, what I like too is it's anti corrosion, especially when you're riding in salt water areas. But anything for more protection with your investment is worth the money. I don't like the factory oils, I don't care what brand it is, I'd rather use this. The same as you know, like Crown Vix and whatnot, or any car run like Royal Purple and that. Kawasaki SXR runs Royal Purple, but you could use this. But because it's not supercharged, you can run, I actually run uh, the Royal Purple, that'd be for a motorcycle, because that is a motorcycle engine that is in there. That's why I run that. Different skis, different things you do. What you wanna do is, um, and I've done videos to show this, but I mean, if you're new to this, so you should do is the oil, your how you should be changing the ski has I think 53 hours. So what you should be doing is changing the oil every 25 hours or once a year by hours or time period. If you don't ride a lot, once a year. If you're riding more than 25 hours, change the oil. If the manufacturer says you should go longer with the oil changes, I don't recommend that. I think it's better to change every 25 hours. It might be a little costly of spending stuff, but again, it protects your investment. I've changed the spark plugs now three times. I did it when the first maintenance I did, the break-in period, put new spark plugs in. I did it just recently, um, I have to say, at least a couple months ago, I changed spark plugs. I was delaying doing the oil change. I was waiting until it was fully getting a lot warmer outside. Like today, it's almost 70 degrees. It's time to change the oil. It's due for getting this oil changed, and I'm going to ride in the ocean after this video. So, I figured to get this thing knocked out. And uh, again, this is on my Amazon store. This is like siphoning it out. It's not impossible to do this, but it's not for everybody. You have to be careful how much oil you put back in. If you've never done it, do a lot of research um, because you can wreck it by putting not enough oil in, or too little oil, not putting the oil filter on correctly. It's a little bit more challenging with this oil filter as seeing that it's right there. Again, what I use, sorry for the, before I show what I use, sorry for the sound. This is uh, making me money. If you don't know what this is, I have to show about it in another future video, but it is the sound of money. Ka-ching, ka-ching. Now, uh, let's see, I cut, where is it? I think it's one of these I've already pre-cut. I think it's this one. Oh, yeah. Should pull this out. It's hard doing everything one-handed. Um, let's 
So what this is is an oil mat. Use this for soaking up oil messes. Now what I do is I cut this down really short, and then so then what you can do, let's see if I can show you, is then you fold it out. Now if you look there, now with any oil dripping, we're not going to have any at the bottom of the hull, and it's going to be lesser of a mess because. Being that the oil filter is like this, it's the same kind of ordeal you have to do, especially even with the Kawasaki's, the same way oil filter is right down there. This has less of room, this has tons of room, especially once you pull out the air box, that's where that would sit and it gives frees you up a lot of room changing oil. First thing we're gonna do is start this up just for a couple seconds, get the oil moving, and then pull the dipstick out Get this thing siphoning. It's gonna take a little time siphoning all the oil out of there. And then you pop off the oil filter. I'm gonna pop that off, put the new one in, put some oil in. So let's start this thing up. We'll see if I can do this one-handed. Probably not. Probably need to get life easier. <laughs> with these you want to make sure it's all totally wiped down with the towel before you stick it in there you don't want any debris getting in there pop up the filler cap off right there helps with the air moving this gets you guys a little well that's off the cap when I pulled it but uh, the oil is not that dirty um, but you can tell it needs to be clean and that's basically in 25 let's give or take uh, yeah, well, it could be under 25. Uh, they did it at 25 hours, now to 25 hours. What put you at 50 hours, so I'm a couple hours past the one I would say to do it. Uh, but that's what it looks like. We'll say that's 27 hours. That's why I say 25 hours you should change the oil. Now all these pumps work the same. You want one, not some automatic thing where you're using electric. I don't think that's worth doing. And, uh, when it's all done pumping out, it'll sound like when you're drinking something with a straw and it sounds like when there's nothing left, that's kind of what the sound makes like when it's all out. And you can see we got the oil moving. So this big giant one, I wouldn't recommend this for personal use. There's a lot of smaller ones I have on my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Nice with this one. This is more like a shop one if you are a dealer, and uh, it just makes life easier. I use this one when I have to like change uh, trans transmission fluid or dip fluid with automobile stuff. I use it for a bunch of things besides just the jet skis. And I'm lucky there's some places locally where you can free to dispose of oil. That's again something too to look at. This saves you a lot of money because the dealers, they charge a lot. And then you, no matter how busy it is, there's a waiting period. And uh, just make sure you're careful with filling it up. It goes really slow putting the oil in. And you gotta remember too, is when you put the oil in, it takes a little bit for the sit at the bottom of the engine. Once you think you got the right amount, you wanna start up, shut it back off and then see if you have to give or take add any oil the one thing if you make a mistake and you add too much oil you could just stick the siphoner back in there and siphon out a little bit out um, or you just go really slow not putting too much in and definitely definitely want to check it if you're new to this keep checking you should always check everything before going the same as our least stuff usually airing out so there's no fumes in the skis but uh, definitely check it every time. I mean, the last thing you want to do is go out riding, not to have enough oil. You shouldn't be carrying oil with you just because it makes life really hard when you're on the water. Plus it's not good for the environment. 
definitely check all that stuff out before you go You're riding. You can tell it's a little dark coming out. And that's what I can say, 25 hours, change oil. I don't care what brand it is. The same with the cars. I don't go a lot longer than what they say it should be changing the oil. And again, always observe that. The same with your automobile, car, truck. Keep always an eye on your oil. You never know if it gets low and you never want to run an engine with no oil. Definitely it's important moving that cap. Because if you don't have it, this is going to take forever getting the oil out of the engine. And it's basically using that to pull air in, pull it out. And this is the trickle charger I use. I have it unplugged right now because of what I'm changing the oil. This is again on my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash on Babel. But tell you, my brother, this is the best stuff out there. And uh, this is going to take some time, so I'm going to let this drain it a lot. You might have to give it a couple more pumps if it starts going, but see, once you kind of get it going, it's moving. And you don't need to be sitting here on this pump just non-stop pumping because that's not how it works. I get a few pumps on the thing and then now I'm going to go, I'm actually going to go feed my dog. So get this thing all going and then come back. But uh, it takes some time. This isn't like a fast job. If you're in a hurry, plan it in your schedule. But be careful too because if you live in an area where you got lizards or frogs or insects and all that, make sure nothing gets in there when this is all going on. So make sure you're in a safe environment when you're changing the oil. All right, so it's all pumped out, as you can see. That's the last little remainder. But you can see there's none in the tube. So we got all the oil out. Now the next step is to take off the oil filter and then put the new one on what you want to do is take a little oil put it right around the ring right here um, before putting it on but you need to get a specialty tool that takes off oil filters and figure out the right size you need and do all that research before you get to this step yeah like i said that man i had down there pays off with just a little spill when you pull the filter off new oil filters on tighten down correctly Gonna pull off this, wind it all back up, wipe it all up, and then we're adding the oil. All right, so that's pretty much it. Got the oil at the right, correct level. Like I said, change it every 25 hours, or if you don't go over 25 hours, change it once a year. I hooked up right on this trickle charger right before going, even though it won't do much, but hey, a little, little back end charging before going. And then um, also too, I swapped the battery to a Revo Racing battery because there was a lot of known stuff with that's the vent tube with the stock batteries having uh, acid damage. So um, Revo Racing has her own brand of batteries to put in there. And I think I talked about in the past video, but that's something else too. That's not on the Amazon store, but it's at RevoRacing.com to so check them out. But again, all the cool stuff, trickle charger, everything they do to change oil, spark plugs, all that is all on the Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Also too, check out the I am Beowulf merch at I am Beowulf.com. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, become part of the Beowulf nation. Existing subscribers hit the bell notification, get notified as soon as a video is uploaded. Be mighty and stay strong.